Welcome to session 3, Revit tutorial, how to use information from a 2D drawing to create a 3D model using Autodesk Design Review and Revit. First, we downloaded a typical floor layout plan from internet and convert into a PDF file. We then use design review to measure the dimension of the wall, window and door and to draw the grid lines in Revit. Now in this tutorial we will draw the wall, door, window and to create a 3D model. We continue the previous work in part 1. Before we start we need to specify the level we assume the ceiling height is 3 meter and the wall is 150 mm thick. In this project, we assumed both the external and internal walls are 150 mm thick. Reinforcement concrete RC wall. To draw walls, window and door, we use the commands we have learned from sessions 1 and 2 tutorial. So in this tutorial, I do need to repeat again the commands. From the structure wall families, we can find 150mm thick RC wall. So we can use any RC wall, duplicate and edit the thickness. Before we place the walls, make sure the setting in the option bar and for constraints in property palettes are correct. Note that we need to place the wall on the grid lines we have drawn in part 1 tutorial. Therefore, remember to select the wall center line for location line in the option bar. We start from external wall and then continue to internal wall using the same thickness of RC wall. We now finish the internal wall. Note that in the grid lines 5 and C, the wall need to extend 75 mm from the current position. We can select this wall and change the dimension so that it is consistent with another internal wall. Similarly, at grid lines 2 to 3 and E, the internal wall need to extend 675 mm from grid lines 2 and E. Also, modification to the internal wall at grid line 3 to 4 and E to extend 875 mm from grid line 4 E. Use the same method for the internal walls at grid line 7 to 8 and F to modify the internal wall length.
we need to duplicate and edit the door sizes for the entrance, bedroom and toilet doors according to the sizes measured from the floor layout plan. After we have loaded casement windows from the Revit libraries, we use the same method to add window in this exercise. Please note that the window sill heights are different in bedrooms, kitchens and toilet. We need to specify the height for different types of window in different locations. Now we can switch to the 3D wheel to check the wall doors and windows we have drawn. In the next tutorial, we are going to add finishes to the floor, wall and ceiling and to add furniture.